السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Dear Grade 12 students in Qatar Technical School, hello and welcome back to a new English lesson. Again, we have a new lesson from Review Unit B, and this is the third part. Please go to your course books, page 35, and let's get started. In our learning objectives for today, students will be able to use present simple in sentences correctly and use comparative adjectives in sentences also correctly. Dear students, let's begin with the present simple, the first objective in our lesson for today. So let's talk about the present simple in the affirmative form or sentences with singular Nouns or pronouns, we need the present simple and it should be followed by the S or ES or IES. How? Like the following examples. He lives in a villa. Number two, she goes to school daily. We have ES here. Number three, he studies English regularly we have the IES in the third example. While if we have plural subject, noun or pronoun, we, or I of course, we use the present simple without adding anything to it. Like the example, we travel to London every year. I pray five times a day. While with negative sentences we have to follow the following rules. Number one, if the subject is singular, we use the zent plus the present simple without any addition, the base form. Like the examples, he doesn't live in a villa, she doesn't go to school daily, and he doesn't study English regularly. While with plural subject or I, we use don't plus the present simple or the base form of the verb. Like the examples, we don't travel to London every year and I don't sleep 10 hours every day. To form questions, we have to follow the following rules. Number one, with singular we start with does, we start with the helping verb plus singular subject plus the base form of the verb like the example or the questions. Does he live in a villa? Does she go to school daily? And does he study English regularly? While with plural subjects or I, we use do. Do plus subject plus present simple or base form. Like the examples, do we travel to London every year? Do I pray five times a day? We use the present simple in the following cases. Number one, express general truths, like the example, it rarely rains in the desert. Use number two, indicate present habits, like the example, the birds return to the island every morning. Use number three, express timetable events. Example, the plane to London takes off at 6.30 a.m. And use number four, indicate permanent states. Like in the example, I like the new James Bond film. The most common keywords for the present simple are, of course, adverbs of frequency, such as always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, never, and so on. Also, we have every, every day, every week, every month, every year, and so on, or daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, annually, and so on. Dear students, please now check your understanding of this lesson or this part of the lesson about the present simple by correcting the verb or verbs in brackets. Pause the video and come back to check your answers. Number one, 
I don't come to school every day. Number two, he always brushes his teeth before bedtime. Number three, which is a question, do you often watch films? Number four, she doesn't work in the company or in that company. Number five, it doesn't usually rain in Qatar during summer. Excellent, my dear students. Dear students, let's now move to the second objective in our lesson for today, which is comparison. As you can see, we need adjectives or adverbs to make comparison. Now, let's have a look at the following parts. As you can see, we have nouns to the right and adjectives to the left. So let's have the following examples before we start our lesson. We have the noun room, and we can describe it as small room. Bag, we describe it as old bag. Jacket, nice jacket. And woman, kind woman. Now, to make comparison, we need adjectives and also we need nouns or pronouns. Now, let's have a look at the following. We have this tower and on the other hand, we have another tower. Now, let's compare between these two towers regarding to height. So, we see the first tower here to the left is higher than the second tower to the right. Another example, we have this very fast car, Ferrari, and we have another car to the right. So we say the first car, Ferrari, is faster than the second car. A third comparison here between this very expensive car, the Rolls Royce, with this car to the right. So we say the first one is more expensive than the second car. And the fourth and last example here, we have to compare these two films. The first one is considered as more interesting than the second one. Dear students, let's now talk about adjectives. An adjective is a word that is used to describe a noun or a pronoun, like in the following examples. I watched a movie. Now let's describe the movie by saying an exciting movie. Another example, he visited a country. Describe it more by saying an amazing country. The third example, the trip was very interesting. A fourth example, Ali is my best friend. He is a bit taller than me. So all the words written in red here are called adjectives because they describe either a noun or a pronoun. In order to use adjectives in comparison, we have to follow the following rules. Number one, we need an adjective plus ER. But the adjective in this case should be made of one or two syllables, a short word. Like in the example, Ali is taller than Ahmed. While in rule number two, if the adjective is a long one made of three or more syllables, in this case, we can't add ER but we add more or less before the adjective. Like in the examples, science is more exciting than math, or math is less exciting than science. Another way for making comparison is by using the following words, but, while, and whereas. Like in the examples, 
My room is small, but my brother's room is big. Our car is new, while my uncle's car is old. This mobile is expensive, whereas the other one is cheap. Dear students, to check your understanding of this part of the lesson, please read the following sentences and rewrite them by using the words in brackets. In the first sentence, we have to use the word tall. In the second sentence, you have to use the word while. And in the third sentence, you have to use the word young. Pause the video and come back to check your answers. Thank you so much. Now in sentence number one, as you can see, Ahmed is 170, while Khalid is 185 meters. So Khalid is taller than Ahmed. In the second sentence, my car is expensive, Hamid's car is cheap. So the best answer is, my car is expensive, while Hamid's car is cheap. In the third sentence, she is 30 years old, her sister is 40. She is younger than her sister. Excellent, my dear students. Our last exercise in our lesson for today is to complete the sentences with the correct word between brackets. In sentence number one, we have the word long. So, think of the best answer that makes the sentence correct. Let's check your answer. The Nile is longer than the Thames. Very good. In sentence number two, Abdullah is short, Khalid is tall. Which word can be used in the middle? Excellent. You can use whereas, but, or while, for example. In sentence number three, which mobile is expensive? iPhone 12 or iPhone 11? The best answer is more expensive. Excellent. And in the last example, this school is good than other schools. The best answer that makes the sentence complete and correct is better. Well done, my students. Dear students, that's all for today. I hope that you enjoyed the lesson. Please log on to your Microsoft Teams account and do the quiz. Submit answers within 24 hours. That's all for today. Goodbye.